putting the new nine step speed controller into your ready to run car or into your Tamiya build. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Hi guys, it's Brett from Hearns Hobbies. And today I'd like to talk to you about our nine steps speed controller. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and put it in to our, our VRX Octane here that's got a failed unit in it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install, set up and get in your car. So let's get started. We'll start by taking off the uh, body, getting it all unplugged, make sure that the battery's unplugged of course. Got my trusty nine steps tool kit here. Gonna cut these cable ties, get them out of the way. Now speed controllers can fail for a number of reasons. Um, predominantly it's when they've been too wet. I mean, yes, they are splash resistant um, to some extent, but they don't like being submerged. Not in the long term, it doesn't work out well. Go ahead and unplug the motor wires. Here we go. Now I've taken the switch off. Now what we're gonna do now is get into the receiver box. Uh, on this Octane here, there are a, a sealed box, which is really cool. Keeps it nice and secure and out of the way. A couple of two mil screws here, here. Get this up and out, like so. Here we go. It's revealed our receiver unit. We're gonna go ahead and unplug channel number two, which is the speed controller. And that relates to the controller's inputs. Uh, the easiest way to remember is channel one to turn, channel two to burn. All right, channel two, unplugged. So now, all we've got left to do is actually remove it from the body of the vehicle. And with this one here, hopefully, yeah, it's just a bit of double-sided tape. There we go. There's the old speed controller that doesn't work. We'll put that away out of the side. Now, I've got my trusty little nine steps gizmos here, and these are the perfect tool for scraping the um, residue and double-sided tape off. I'm gonna make it nice and clean because we're gonna, in fact, secure the new nine step speed controller by the same double-sided technique. Double-sided tape is good in that it holds it nice and secure and it's semi-permanent in that if you do need to change it or swap it over like I'm doing here, you can see that the cleanup is quite straightforward as opposed to, uh, you know, if you were to epoxy it or something like that to the chassis of the car. So rub off all that dirt and debris. I've got a little bit of, little bit of cleaning spirits here. And that's just to get the last of the dirt and debris off. The stuff I'm using is safe for consumption. See here, look at that. Vigorous rubbing. Get that all, get that all off. And there we go. A nice clean surface to mount our new speed controller. So I'm gonna go ahead now and open it up. Really cool header card on that. The beauty about these speed controllers in that in this ready to run car um, and like all the Tamiya ones, it's pretty much plug and play. So there's no soldering or crimping of connections. It's got the same Tamiya style plug on it and it's got the same bullet connectors on the motors that a lot of them use. And why I, a really neat feature about this speed controller is that it's got a little bracket here for the switch so you don't have to remotely mount it and worry about having wires going across the chassis and the little switch that will tend to fall off double-sided tape. Beautiful. So before I like to glue it into place, I'll just sort of put it into position, see which way the wires are gonna sit nice. I think we'll go like that. It's gonna keep the switch out of the way. The battery cables are gonna reach, the motor wires are gonna tuck down nice. And that's perfect. Go ahead and plug the receiver in into channel two. Like so, same wires there, red, white, and black, which is signal positive and negative. Have that plugged in. 
Then we can go ahead and tuck the wire in here, like so. Hold that there with my finger. So you want to make sure that you've got enough wire that it all sits nice, but not too much that it's all bunched up and gathered up and can cause can cause it to get caught or stuck some somewhere in the in the truck, wrapped around a drive shaft or something like that, and stuck in your fingers. We'll tuck it all up and put it in this ni nice little receiver box here. Do our best to put it all in. Make sure nothing's going to get caught like so then we can go ahead and put our our lid back on put our antenna through like so and there we go oops little wires come out of position so I find these little gizmo tools here really handy in getting in there without damaging the wire, acting as a third hand without using a knife or a razor blade. Still got a bit of binding there. Let's get this around here, like so. so get in there. There we go. They're all nice and secure. And tucked in, got my two mil driver. We'll put that lid back down, like so. So this was the position that we had it. And that's allowing me to get at these two top deck screws too for future servicing. So I really like that the way, the way that's gonna sit there. We'll go ahead in our packet, got some 3M brand double sided tape. We'll go ahead and stick that on the speed controller and get it mounted. Like so. Push it down nice and firm. Pull up the corner. If I can get it. Super sticky. Beautiful. Peel the back in away. And off we go. Go ahead, get it nice central and square so I can get it at the screws sitting pretty. There we go. Firmly press it into place, and that's all it needs. Okay, now I can go ahead and plug the motor wires in. Now these may or may not need reversing, but that's as simple as plugging it in and unplugging it to suit your motor. We'll plug that in there. Tuck those wires down there nice. Okay, we're ready to turn on. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn the radio on and I'm going to zero the trim, throttle trim, put it to zero. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll plug the battery in. I've got the switch turned off. Turn the switch on and we'll listen for the commands. We've got steering servo, which is really nice. We'll go ahead and go forward. Just got to reverse. So what I've got to do here is reverse these motor wires, which I thought might be the case. 
we'll put red to blue, black to yellow, plug that back in. Like I said, each motor and speed controller will be, will be different. We'll turn it on again. Perfect, so we've got, we've got full forward, we've got brake, and then with second push, we've in, we've in fact got reverse. So that is really good. That is all working really well. And that is as simple as putting a new nine step speed controller into your ready to run car or into your Tamiya build, uh, replacing what you already have. Yeah, it's as simple as that. So yeah, go ahead, put one in, and yeah, we have reliable high speed running. I'm Brett and thanks for watching.